Who Dares Wins Alan is one of the ones we saw schooling this morning and has an unusual profile in coming from high class flat racing to novice chases. Yeah, no, he's been a remarkable horse for the for the syndicate, the owners, and um, you know, he's probably at the age of seven, he's at a career high, he's rated 107, um, won the Northumberland Plate, second the Chester Cup, and ran very well fourth in the Group 1 in France. Lisp is another one we saw schooling this morning, and I sense that uh, is one you've been really looking forward to seeing in Two Mile Novice Chases. Yeah, good handicap hurdle last season, and we schooled him in the spring, he jumped very, very well. He's a horse that can be probably quite free on his first run back when he's fresh, so we gave him a run over hurdles, get Ascot, carried top weight, stayed on to finish fourth, and we were delighted with that. It's just taken the freshness off him, um, and as you saw, jump looked lovely this morning. Um, I would think all things being equal, we might well head to Warwick in about 10 days' time for the high flyer novice chase. Alsa Mix is another member of the novice chase squad, and she had really good graded form over hurdles. She did, yeah, and um, you know she probably is a two and a half mile plus horse, but we might just start her off at Banger, be very testing ground, which you know should blunt the speed on one or two of them. I'd like to get her out. Um, she's won an Irish point, so she's got a bit of experience over fences, and again, she was very neat and accurate this morning. Well, the novice chases that have run, you must have been delighted with Dayram to Carjack at Huntingdon. Yeah, he looks. We always hoped that maybe fences would be the, the making of him. I mean, he, he had useful form over hurdles. He won once and was second a few times, but um, he schooled very well in the spring. We sent him up to Cartmel and he was impressive. And then he had his summer break. And I must admit, I thought it was a, an extremely competitive, hot uh, novice chase at, um, at Hunting last week, but he, he jumped very well and won very well. Um, he's a horse that probably wants a little bit of time between races. so. If we were happy with him, he might head to Newbury at the end of the month, otherwise we'll give him a bit longer. Mm. But um, we won't over-race him, but hopefully he's a, an exciting uh, recruit to the, to the chasing game. Among the, uh, the novice hurdling recruits, uh, onto Victory looks uh, an interesting horse in the flat. Yeah, I mean, he was a good flat horse for Eve Johnson Houghton. I think he peaked at about 108, um, mile and a half, mile six. He did miss a season or a year with, with a touch of a leg, but we're very happy with that now. Um, and he's he's been very, very good from day one over hurdles. Um, Fitness-wise, he's a few weeks away, so I'm hoping we'll get him out sort of um, first half of December somewhere. Talk is cheap, you brought back at Sandown, and I guess he wasn't uh, really well suited by the testing conditions. No, I mean, he's all his best form is on good ground. I mean, we sent him up to Doncaster last winter, I think good to firm for a two-runner novice chase, and um, I, I just needed to get him out if he was going to go to the Ladbrook. Um, and he, he didn't really travel or jump off that ground. But um, look, at least he's had a run. And we'll see how he is in the next week or two, and we'll see what the weather does as to whether he goes to Newbury or not. Of the mares, the Glancing Queen uh, did really well for you last season, but I gather it's going to be a little bit of time before we see her. Yeah, she was she was back working away very well, and then she just was taking the odd sort of lame step. And it took a long time when we x-rayed everything, and. Um, eventually she's through a little splint, um, which she's, she's fine now, she's back trotting and I would imagine she'll be cantering by the end of the week, but we're probably not going to see her now this side of Christmas, but she'll be worth waiting for. Uh, Ballywood had a, a minor blip first time I got ask it, but hopefully she'd still have a good season in two miles. Yes, I mean he's, he's a horse that was very progressive over fences last year, I won three. Um, whether it was a combination of running him on good ground or sending him fences or a bit of the both, but he, he was much better. Ask it, he was just a little bit fresh and galloped into the one down the hill and him and Tom parted company, but he had a good gallop round loose and jumped most of the fences. Uh, he schooled this morning. Um, he possibly could go to Ask it in a fortnight or wait for Newbury uh, end of the month. Dinko Dollar had a spin over hurdles last week at Newbury. Uh, what do you hope that that set him up for now? Well, he, we did exactly the same last year before the Ladbrook finished third in that, um, and hopefully the same again. I mean, he is a little bit ground dependent, so you know I hope we don't get too much rain between now and, and the, the Ladbrook. If it's respectable ground, then he'll probably head there. Um, he does have an entry in the Beecher Chase as well the following week, but I think at the moment the plan is to head to Newbury. Scarlet Dragon must have been pleased with his win at Market Raisin. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Wayne's last winner, actually, um, listed winner. Um, and he came out of that very well. Um, we had planned to run him at Doncaster in the November handicap. It just fitted in quite well before Newbury, but we've lost that. So um, 
we just back off them for a few days and then build them back up towards the Jerry Field and on, on the Saturday. It was probably quite a nice novice hurdle that Edward Stone won at uh, Wincanton. We hope so. <laughs> um, well, second and third had, had good form. and um, but He had a decent bumper form without winning. He was second in his three runs. I think in particularly his last run at Warwick, he bumped into a pretty highly regarded horse of JP that uh, Nicky trains. But uh, we've been very pleased with his work prior to Wincanton and we were certainly hoping for a good show. I'm not saying I went there expecting to win, but I'd have been disappointed if he hadn't won a huge race. And he was a little bit fresh early, he pulled very hard over the first two and, and did well to see it out as well as he did. Um, he certainly bred to get farther, but I think the way he travelled the other day will certainly stick to two miles for the time being. Um, I'll give him three or four weeks, so we'll, we'll look for something in early December for him. Well, Anna, thanks very much and uh, very great to luck in the coming weeks. Thanks, Ben. Pleasure.